land navigation. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the eight terrain features you need to know and understand on a topographical map to effectively navigate in a wilderness area. You have five major terrain features and you have three minor terrain features. Now, before I start on that, I really want to talk about a uh, topographical map and the contour lines on a topographical map. Contour lines are those squiggly lines you see on a topographical map, and they represent elevation. So, at a specific contour line, that topographical map should be able to tell you at what elevation you're on. And between each contour line, there's so many feet or there's a distance between that. And you can find that in the legend of the map. So some contour lines maybe have a 20 feet, a difference in between, 30 foot, etc. So let's get started with the eight terrain features that you need to know. The first major terrain feature is going to be a hilltop. Now a hilltop is an area of high ground that slopes down in all directions. In this topographical map, I have the arrow pointing to two hilltops. Now a hilltop is designated as a closed concentric circle. And in this picture, this is what a hilltop looks like. This is a picture I took when I was in the Blue Range Primitive, beautiful wilderness area. The next terrain feature I'm going to talk to you about is a saddle. A saddle is a dip or low point between two areas of high ground. Those high grounds would be a hilltop. Now on the same topographical map, uh, you have the two hilltops there, and in between them there is a saddle. So that's the low point. And here's a picture of a saddle. And I took this when I was in the Wind River Range in Wyoming. The third major terrain feature is going to be a ridge. A ridge is a sloping line of high ground, usually from a hilltop. Now on this topographical map, you see that I have three arrows and I have a line there. That's representative of a ridge. Okay, you see the hilltop there. And this is what a ridge looks like. And I took this picture when I was in the Calmeopsis Wilderness in Oregon. The fourth major terrain feature is going to be a valley. Now, a valley is a stretched out groove in the land formed by a stream or a river. And here you have a valley on this topographical map. I got the two arrows pointing to valley, and that's a stream or river there. And you got areas of high ground to the left and right of that. And here's a picture of a valley, and this is me uh, in the Calamiopsis Wilderness. You see me sitting in the backdrop there, and I got the arrow pointing down, and that's what a valley looks like. The last major terrain feature is going to be a depression. Now, a depression is a low point in the ground or a sinkhole. And on the topographical map here, you see the arrows are pointed to a depression. It's a closed-in concentric circle with tick marks on the inside. Those tick marks are pointing to low ground. And that's what a depression is going to look like on a topographical map. And unfortunately, I don't have a picture of a depression. Uh, but, again, it is basically a hole in the ground, a sinkhole, a low point in the ground. So let's get to the three minor train features. The first one is going to be a spur. A spur is high ground that juts out from the side of a ridge or another terrain feature. And the contour lines on a spur are pointing away from high ground. And this is a picture of a spur. And this was taken in the Calamiopsis Wilderness on one of my expeditions. You can see the spur jutting out there from the side. The second minor terrain feature is going to be a draw. Now, a draw is an area that is edged out by water, and the contour lines are pointing toward high ground, whereas where a spur, they're pointing away. Uh, with a draw, they're pointing toward high ground. And a lot of times, you're going to find a spur and a draw together. And in this topographical map, you see that I have three arrows pointing to a draw. And you see that there's a creek or a stream running through each one of them. And the contour lines are pointed upward or toward high ground. You also have some spurs around there as well, too, in this particular topographical map. Here's a picture of a draw. It's in the Calamiopsis Wilderness. And this is what a draw looks like, and you have a spur there. So a lot of times when you see a spur, you probably will see a draw 
not too far away. The last minor terrain feature is going to be a cliff. And a cliff is a near vertical or vertical drop off. Now the contour lines on a cliff, on a topographical map here, you can see that I'm pointing to a cliff, they usually start coming together and they almost make one. So the closer the contour lines are together on a topographical map, the steeper that elevation is. So here again, you can see that the contour lines are coming together and that area right there would represent a cliff or a steep drop off. And here's a picture of a cliff and I'm in a the backdrop there. This was taken in the Linville Gorge and it's a great picture of what a cliff looks like. So those are the eight terrain features, the five major and the three minor, that you need to know and be able to identify on a topographical map. So if you are on a trail and you get off that trail, do some bushwhacking like I do, you wanna be able to identify those terrain features as you're navigating in that particular wilderness area that you're at. Again, land navigation is a lost skill and a lot of individuals rely on GPS's, their phones, uh, which is great and good technology. And I always bring my GPS with me and I recommend you have one with you. But when that goes down, you need to be able to uh, utilize the compass and a map. And the topographical map is important because again, you can terrain associate and orient a map based on the terrain that you're seeing. So if you don't understand what you're seeing on a topographical map, it's gonna be difficult for you to utilize the map and orient it to the terrain that you're at. So if you have any comments or questions, post them below, uh, and I'll continue with putting out videos on land navigation, as well as other videos on wilderness backpacking and survival. This is Andy, thank you for watching.